I'll be talking about three important essential parameters of technology. Imagination, creation and evaluation. So dream should become true. So we see nature. How do you see nature? So difference is there. So we see, for example, if you are seeing an elephant, you remember the story of a six blind men seeing the elephant. And otherwise you see elephant as a heavy weight. But people see with some sort of a imagination how the trunk moves, how it is flexible. So the person thinks in such a way that how can you use such a technology for manipulation in the case of robotic. If you touch the tail fish, you can see how it reacts. So this technology is used again in robotics for gripping purpose. It means even if you hold an egg, it should not get damaged. That's the essential need of the robotics. Now the camelin, you all know that, how it changes to suit the environment. So today there is a need of the defense. You have to become invisible. The camouflage technology, nets, tiles, paints are coming up with this. You see the turtle, how it floats in water, how it transmits, receives the ultrasonic sound. So these technologies are used in a hundred utter, autonomous vehicle. So see the beautiful butterfly. We all see that, we enjoy by seeing the color, but a lot of things are in that. You see the wings, there are a lot of nanoparticles. This technology is utilized in two things. One is its non-sticking capability with respect to water as well as the reflectivity of the light. The dolphin, you all know that. The tail technology of the dolphin, it is used again in underwater autonomous vehicle. It means somebody sees dolphin and it takes that kind of uh, imagination how to utilize uh, this in technological things. The another one is his sonar capability. Of course, and you all know that it's nature, it's team effort, but it's neck. People find that uh, it carries 50 times its weight. So people are doing research how to use such kind of neck so that we can use in the robotics and also its navigation technique. People are trying to exploit and use in the technological marvelous. Of course, this is a jellyfish, you all know that. Again, these things, the capability of jellyfish we are trying to exploit in the robotics field by way of uh, imagination. So, we have been seeing nature. We are trying to imagine how to use nature in the real life. So let us move slightly away from that nature to the scenario. When we got liberated, we had to produce a weapon to defend ourselves. So in the early 60s, we were not having any tank technology. So simply we went for license to production. It means we got technology from outside. We produced tanks like Vijay and T-Series, but we were imagining to modify these tanks, even the tanks which were given to us on license to meet other demands like armored ambulance for firing motors, for carry post or many applications. But while doing this, we were imagining to produce a tank in India to suit Indian conditions, Indian terrain, Indian temperature, Indian loads, uh, that is Arjun. But here, we are trying to modify Arjun to meet the other demands like self-propelled, then again bridge layer like that. But today, we are thinking about the future, how we are going to evolve tanks to meet all the demands by having the technologies common to them. So these are some examples, the tank technology. What you are seeing, one is a gearbox, what we had in military application, how we are going to use it uh, for applications like, uh, what you call uh, commercial buses. The first automatic transmission produced in India, is uh, developed in India is that. So we are using the technology for developing transmissions for infantry combat vehicles, 
So what you are seeing that uh, uh, three-dimensional model is for the future generation tank. On land, we did gearboxes. Now, with kind of the technological expertise, we moved from uh, land to aircraft, that is light combat aircraft stages. In that, uh, the aircraft mounted accessory gearbox, the lightweight champion is flying so far almost 3,000 hours with 4,000 charges without any issue. So today, we are evolving a technology for another version called advanced medium combat aircraft. Of course, we move from gearbox to another technology, suspension. The unique nature of Arjun is that hydro pneumatic suspension. It's a non-linear characteristics is this important parameter unlike your spring linear characteristics. The technology what we developed today for tank, we developed us for example high speed tonnage commercial vehicles that is AVTT commercial vehicles and also for railways. With these things on ground, Today, we are moving to unmanned aerial vehicle Rustam 2 for the purpose of landing gear. It means you should have the deployment and retraction capability. Today, it is a reality. So, we are moving from ground to air, not only in gearbox, in suspension. How we are imagining the things available, technologies available with us, so that we can find out by creating a equipment to suit the newer requirements, future requirements. Of course, today the demand materials. We started with steel, you all know that, but steel is quite heavy and bulky. So we have been working on various uh, materials to starting from uh, what you call aluminum, we talked lightweight, magnesium, we talked lightweight, titanium for other advantages and composites. But today the nano, nano, nano is the whale. Thing. You know the advantages of nano, its properties. So the focus is how to use the nano, what I said nanoparticles in butterfly wings, that kind of nanoparticles, how we are going to use in the material technology so that the tank, the aircraft, what we talk, we can bring down the weight and volume aspects. Of course, having said many things about mechanical things, let us see something on electronics. So you all know that we started with the ambassador, no electronics, no software. Today you see that today electronics and software occupies almost close to 50% in the latest cars. What is that? So today we have control separate for engine, for transmission, for suspension, for lights, for windows. What else? Every technology is there available to control so that we can have a controlled vehicle electronic system so that whole equipment with respect to safety and diagnosis also included in the form of a software. So what you are seeing in the car, the technology is available for making with electronics and software. So this is the need of the hover. So today we are talking about uh, what you call uh, generators, okay? Then we came green generators, but uh, today requirement is how we can generate power without input? That is a fuel less, fuel less generators. How to generate? Such is the requirement keeping the green, green in mind. You see, green tank should be in mind. This is what we have to keep in mind. So we talk about utilization of solar energy and uh, your fossil fuel energy presently. For that, we have to develop a good control. But future, future what we have to imagine is that we have to generate power without input. What is that possible? Today we talk about slight battery power, we talk about magneto motor, what else we can do to bring uh, such kind of technological marvels in the field of green tanks. Of course, optics, you all know your eyes. So today, you know, in earlier days in Mahabharata Ramayana, we followed all culture that we should not fire or we should not fight after sunset. But today, totally changed. The war is during only night. You know all these things. But vision, vision is required during night. So you can see the cat family. The whole cat family has an excellent capability during night. So what is that lesser vision? So that technology today we are using in defense and many applications. For example, started with identifying a range, laser range finder for designating an object, a target by means of laser target designator. And again, cameras, 
keeping rear sight and also driver's night, earlier periscope, then what you call intensifier image based, all these things are changed into thermal image. So we get very good vision night. So how to enhance? So we have to imagine still how to enhance the capability in night vision. What we are doing? for the different applications. When I said uh, the inspirations from nature, how you have to imagine and evolve technologies. So what we did for defense, we have converted these things into your commercial things. So good examples you can see out of these six, uh, the left hand side bottom what you are seeing is that uh, how on the right hand side top, both things you can see that the radar today we use uh, for surveillance purpose. The battlefield surveillance radars can be used for the unmanned ground vehicles for all applications, surveillance. Bridges what we built for our town. Soldiers, today we are using in flooded areas to, for common people by bringing down, uh, bringing composites in picture. So if you consider even nano materials in that, still weight will come down so that we can carry for high altitude. So these are another thing, what you are seeing, the examples. The last left, what you are seeing is that uh, structure. Today, how we can bring still lighter composites so that it can be easily carried uh, to meet the demands at high altitude and uh, mountain areas. The right hand side, left bottom, what you are seeing is a bio toilet. What we did for our soldiers, today it is a reality. We are putting these things railway, not only railways, we are keeping in places like Haridwa, Rishigesh to meet the demands, again keeping green in mind. This point what I want to again repeat, again I am coming back to nature, he said that, see the butterfly, you see the surface roughness, that is the capability it makes, water droplet will not stay, it rolls, not only it rolls, it carries the dirt particles from that, so by that process it makes self cleaning, you can see the glass, so these are the specific advantages of that thing, it is applicable, imagination. So what I want to say here is that this again uh, in China they invented this in a particular highly populated areas without affecting the regular traffic how to bring it. But what I would like to say here is that we should not have charities. Our intention is how to give some sort of uh, skills, uh, that's a skill development. For example, you can give fish today to somebody eat to eat, uh, but that solves only maybe one day problem. But we, if you make him to understand or learn or make him to uh, really use the technology of how to catch fish. So this is a skill, if you develop it, the advantage or uh, reality is that uh, he knows how to survive. So we should know how to create among the people skill, that's called skill development, this is what very essential. So this skill development definitely will fetch a lot of potential for the people. So I thought I'll just say food for thought, having listened uh, for the past maybe uh, around 13, 14, 15 minutes. Uh, today I feel or rather we should feel that water and power. These are two critical parameters. So how our youngsters going to imagine different kinds of uh, technologies to meet uh, the futuristic demands of water. So even today portable water is a big problem. How you are going to meet the increasing population, increasing demand of both water and power. So this is, this is very much essential. We should uh, keep in mind uh, so that our focus should be in the order of meeting the demand. Normally demand only creates inventions. Because when demand is there, people imagine what is to be done. When you imagine, then the next step comes creativity. Normally imagination, it's something like God's gift. All are not having I mean, imagination. Few people are having imagination, but we help in creating and evaluating. Today what we see in the world is all man-made. Compare decades back and here. It's all man-made. Some people imaginated, people created, today evolved in different form. So imagination plays a vital role to make people to, must understand, realize and meet the demands of the future. So ultimately I would like to say that these uh, I mean, the three parameters what I mentioned, uh, imagination, creation and uh, your <coughs> Evaluation should make us self-reliant. This is very important. It should be independent, self-reliant. India should become a self-reliant. 
Now, the question to you is that uh, you tell me uh, today India is self-reliant or take you yourself, are you a self-reliant person or take your family or they are self-reliant? This is a big question mark to all of us. Where do you stand with respect to self-reliance and independence? I am not talking about technological marvels. For all purposes, we have to think ourselves whether really we are self-reliant. Then, if you are not self-reliant, how you are going to achieve the self-reliance for the nation and for us? Uh, what are the ways? It means, so, the imagination, creation, evaluation, the three vital parameters what I mentioned, it all very, very critical, very, very essential for achieving the technological goals and technological marvels. Thank you. Thank you very much.